Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? Today is Friday, September the 18th, 2015. Thank God it's Pod Day, and welcome to episode 27 of the glorious, victorious Can't Stop Playing podcast. I'm your host. What the heck is going on? Ghost Robo likes Destiny, Zach. Joining that, me this week. That is a big shocker. That's a spoiler alert for the rest yeah. of the podcast, kind of. Yeah, yeah like we need like the metal. You're like, Whoop! like, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Zach's Rocket out of his, punch. He, Have you guys seen he's that out, clip? He's out of his box. For the longest time, may, maybe from like middle school to high school, the the Metal Gear whoop thing that was my uh, notification for text messages on my cell phone. Oh, really? Yeah. Fun fact. Someone, and then someone what else. Happened? What someone, someone took it? No, I just got a new phone. And no, like, he got me. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's what do you mean? Text. Like, whenever he gets a notification, you run into the room. No, no, no. It <laughs> just says, text. "It just says Gabby Gab," and then that's what happens when he gets a text. It's just me oh, doing yeah. that. But yeah. someone, someone in my life also has the Metal Gear uh, text tone. By the way, Gabe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh look, <laughs> I like this person already. Yeah. Uh, anyways, games and videos are what we talk about because it's finally a season where stuff is coming out, at least a few things. The Taken King uh, came and met the beauty queen Taylor Swift in Indianapolis this week, uh, and they got together and hypnotized me into liking this thing. So we'll talk about that. And we've also got some Disney Infinity from our other host, which I, have, I haven't even introduced you guys, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Gabe. Hi, Gabe. What are you here? What brings you here? Are we doing this, like, first grade, like, the first day of school, <laughs> no, no. where it's like, this is, we're going to go around the class, guys. You just have to introduce yourself no, I and thought, say one thing that you really well, like. I thought we were right. going to do it more like a therapy session thing. Like, I thought, yeah, it sounded yeah. like an AA meeting, obviously. But <laughs> oh. I, have a qu- I have a question. I'm uh, right, leaving. So, so, Max, you brought that up, right? Were you, like, shy <laughs> in like middle school and high school you know when they said oh you got to stand up in front of the class say your name tell us a little bit about yourself i always hated that i always hated that. i did until my senior year of high school your senior year you and then i was like fine. yo i moved from california and then you Indiana. finished school so you never had to do it again so and then i took on a <laughs> career where i get to be in front of people all the time even yeah. though i'm not really what about you max are you shy um shy, no shy i only had a little bit of shyness when i like uh, went from like israel to canada just mm-hmm. because, like, you know, no friends and everything, so that adjustment. Mm, I but see. I, I got over it pretty quick times. Because everybody's at? doing it. Everybody's feeling the same awkwardness, so. Yeah. My, 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 my mind did not work in that way, like, in, in school. I, I wasn't thinking, oh, everybody's shy. I was like, oh, everybody's going to hate me for some reason. But, Zach, I want to yeah. take this time to okay. say I like your shirt. Thanks, boy. This I, is a Do you a like shirt? my yeah. shirt? Well, no. He, are you going to sell your shirt, Max? Because he's going to no, sell his shirt. No, WWE Actually, Shop sells this shirt. Yeah, so it. you don't make a piece off of it. Get it. Zach, tell us about your shirt. So this oh, is actually great. an alternate uh, me-exclusive version of the shirt that has this on the front and then the full thing on the back. But if you would like to get the full thing uh, on the front of yourself. Yeah, and by uh, the way, it's it's a Zach exclusive because, you know, Zach always needs to be different. So by <laughs> mistake, he misprinted the <laughs> <laughs> the pictures. They're supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> so uh, this one, you can get this on the front of a t-shirt, uh, teespring.com slash ghost builder. It comes in a lovely black, a lovely teal, and a lovely McDonald's red. Also, if you want to be freaking ready for the fall, if you want to get your, okay. your white girl on, get your pumpkin spice latte, get okay. some bath bombs, a cinnamon candle. You want to hook it up in your mom's bathroom with some dulcet tones no of Taylor Swift. I what we're talking about anymore. Then you but. can get my uh, exclusive zip-up hoodie at teespring.com slash ghostbuilderwarm. The first time I've ever done zip-ups. And, like, so when you're in school and you're like, man, this teacher, you can just, like, play with the zipper and think of me. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, ghost, I can't wait to get home and watch your videos. It's not really like, there we go, uh-huh. like this, like that. There you go. Oh, okay. And then you can, people be like, whoa, that's a cool guy. But Is that an front, exclusive build, like feature you built into that yeah zippers yeah, yeah wow yeah he created um, them so you're like hey like i'm a hard-working young man or woman on the front mm-hmm. and then you're like but i love having fun on the back all right that it's, was a good promo that was it, a good promo teespring.com slash ghost construction builder. stuff on the back you're, you're yep. saying build robo right G- ghost builder ghost builder <laughs> i'm completely backwards and joining us from the far north, a man who I wish had more connections with Drake so I could come and visit both of them. Max. I could I might be able to meet him. If I went to more Toronto Raptors games, I'd probably meet him. I'd be, I'd be like, What's up, Drake? How's it going? He seems I'm, like a well, cool guy. I'm coming to Canada. Oh really? When? In November. November? I you're think coming, I know what you're coming to Canada for. <laughs> you're, you're coming with me. We're gonna yeah. be in Canada together. Yeah, I have. We, a, I think I have an idea of what you're coming for. Can Canada we get for. like whatever, like milk bags and crazy rolls or whatever you guys eat there? We, 
I don't know what crazy rolls are, but we can get milk bags. I mean, I don't know how much of a meal no, no, no. that is. Like, we can't go, like, for breakfast, Max, like, go Max, to. I want to have a milk bag fight with you. There like, you go. We Film need to it. get, like, full body suits, like, um, like saran wrap type suits. No, no, no okay. get hazmat. Or hazmat suits. Oh, yeah. We'll order, like, you know, in Monsters, Inc., when they're, like, 2319, and they have, like, the okay, CD. Yeah, yeah they e put on. E yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. And then we're just going to, like, squirt milk bags and slow-mo at each other. Sounds no. good. Video, video game. I'm getting Wait, palpitations. When are you coming? When are you coming to Canada again? Uh, well, there's a an, a cornucopia of dates that it could be. Yeah. According uh -huh. to a. <laughs> yeah. So but, I picked but sometime October, in like October or November, October right? October 30th or November 2nd. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Something just came up, like literally right now as we speak. <laughs> I'm out of Canada. I'm out of the country. Really? So, You're not going to be able to have a milk bag experience with me? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> right there. Like, as we were speaking, it just yeah? literally came up. Well, it even says right there, October slash November, you are gone. Yeah. Gabe. The date, Zach, Gabe, the you day come that with you're me in instead. Canada. So, yeah, Gabe, you have to come with me instead. <laughs> I'll do it. And I'll just, we'll just, like, gently squirt milk into each other's mouth. Perfect. Wow. This is getting, Perfect. like, <laughs> Hey, hey, <laughs> don't worry bizarre. about this. That's what you said about the shower at E3, but we all know you loved it. Yeah. yeah. I... I <laughs> Hey, my Whatever. organic soap At made you point, smell really I've good. At this point, I've learned if I fight it, it only makes it worse. <laughs> Don't fight it. Just love it. You know that you want to be a part of it, too. <laughs> okay, look, I'm expanding my uh, musical repertoire. Sometimes you got to rhyme, and then sometimes you just got to sing from your heart. And so that was one of those okay. moments where I was like, yo, like, to all the lovely people out there, let me just real talk it for you. Real yeah. talk it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's also some, some stuff like video games uh so we'll talk about that destiny the taken king released if you know me you know that i've had major problems with destiny my relationship with destiny is almost as rocky as my past girlfriends um start started off with a started off with a bang uh and uh, <laughs> not that kind like wow i'm excited um uh, wow this week's show is like very not pg right off the bat okay i'm just sure. speaking my heart gabe there's no malintent here buddy um, get your, get your Gabby head out of the gutter. I so, didn't even say anything with Max. So, I, uh, what are you talking about? He said it, whew. then you started laughing. I didn't even notice it. So I, I was oh, like, Bungie, quiet. Destiny, Play Forever, Loot. I love it. And then I played like a lot of it, and I was like, Holy God, they they ruined this. It's terrible. Um, and everyone's like, No, it's amazing. Thousand hours. I beat Crota 150 times, and I'm like, Dude, like your poor life. Uh, and then the Taken King came out. Destiny 2.0, they revamped things. They made the leveling up system totally experience-based. They tried to simplify some of the other systems. Um, they added in missions that aren't all defend a point and stand there while the ghost talks annoyingly. Nolan North now voices the ghost. Um, and all in all, I have been massively impressed with the three or four hours I've played so far. Really? Yes. So what did you play? Did you play Story or did yeah. you play Crucible? So I did Story, and what I did, okay. I wanted to like experience it fresh and not have okay. that baggage of my past character. So I started a new character. I used the item to instantly go to 25. Um, and there's a little bit of awkwardness there. It works seamlessly for the most part, but you do have, like, at the same time that you're getting a quest, like, oh, gosh, go assault the reef, level 27. Mm -hmm. Like, it'll be like, hey, mm -hmm. come grab your first weapon. Here's a 12 damage weapon when, you know, you yeah. just picked up a gun that does 280 or something. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty darn seamless. You jump in. Destiny, like, the lore and plot, I know a lot of people are hardcore into it, but you're not missing out by just jumping in. It's like... Wait, so you were able to do with a new character, sorry to interrupt, like, you do, you were able to do the Taken King missions? Yes. Like, skipping all you the other do, missions? You could do all the missions, but you skip, okay. it takes you from 0 to 25, and then gives you a loadout that's appropriate for that. But it also allows you to, like, tackle right away the Taken King missions. Yes. Yeah, oh, it does. okay. That's cool. So I could do House of Wolves. I could do um, The Dark Below. I could do Destiny 1.0, Destiny Prime, as I like to call it. Um, it wasn't now, to very be fair, optimist, we, we also but... didn't clarify, like, The Taken King is the first DLC that is story-driven DLC. Like, no. Uh, the Dark Below and The House of Wolves didn't have any story. Yeah. It had strike yeah, missions and raids. Yeah, they had they had story stuff in it. Like, they had, like, a, they had a story quest line. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there's story stuff. This is the big major expansion. Though. Really? Because I don't know why. I I had read that this was all like the previous ones were all like raid missions and strike missions and stuff, but it wasn't. Well, it, yeah, I mean, well, even with the raid missions, like there's still a story there. Uh, yeah, they, of course. They, but they, I mean, like but this they also is like have main a story. Yeah, like, yeah, they have a quest. They have a quest line to it. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Well, then I gotta go back because I'm the kind of person that like I need to play the other ones first before I am able to. Yeah. Play the Taken King. I, I finished the story last night. 
Okay. For the Taken the, King or Yeah. Cuz I don't yeah. think I, did you guys play the Dark Below and House of Wolves? No. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. So so you were okay just going into the Taken King? Nothing yeah. weird? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was ready. Look, I already knew like what I, I needed to know. Well, for Zach cuz he skipped the other two DLCs. Oh, yeah. I mean like it basically was like, oh, the father of Crota is like, come to get revenge, go okay. kill him. So it's like very simple setup of like, big bad, go fight him. And oh, okay. I think what I really like about it that is a bit different is by jumping you in toward that end game level, like you're one level away from doing a raid, which first of all, that's great, right? You level up Wait, once. Well, well, clarify, you're one level away from doing the early raids. Yes. The, yeah, the later raids you still can't do. Sure, but you do have access to a way broader scope of activities from the get go. Yeah. And I like that, and I like the fact that the overwhelm, to me, kind of compensates for the fact that, yeah, you still only have one ability, yeah, the weapons don't feel that different, but the fact that you're, when you start in at level 25, you're getting so much gear, and so much variety, and, like, it's such an accelerated, like, what do you call it, like, staircase to, of progress, that, again... Even in the encounters, like there's so many more enemies coming at you, so much more variety in the enemies. You're not like slowly introduced to the Cabal and to the Vex and to the... no, like everything's being thrown at you. Plus these new Taken enemies, plus bosses, and it just feels like, hey, this is a much more dynamic game, um, and therefore incentivizes me to keep playing as opposed to like waiting for something to happen and then it not happening. It feels like they just like condense everything. Boom. And maybe that's what the end game of Destiny was originally, and I just never had the patience to get there. But I think there was so much BS lying between level one and, and whatever the original cap was, 30 or whatever. 24. 24 and then 30, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you had light. That you Anyways, could. Yeah. just like that, that, now that, that's all that, gone. That, what he just pointed out it, it, to me, is, is the most uh, substantial thing. difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The fact that light is no more. Like, leveling up is crazy easy. The first night I started playing, I was level 31 or something like that, and I got to 40 the first night. Um, I did a couple of strikes, I was doing some story missions, I did some Crucible, and then boom, I- I'm at 40. And now I'm capped out, and I'm just trying to build up my light so that I can do those uh, those harder raids, because the raids, you can do them on the regular level, which pretty much anyone can do, once you're like 28, or whatever, or I mean 38, anyone can do them. But the light, there's there's some that require 240 light for you to be able to do them, and, and it takes a little while to get there, but I'm like maybe nine light away at this point. So, um, yeah, just working on getting more uh, armor and better weapons and such, get my light up so I can do those harder strikes and then hopefully get even cooler have, um, armor. Have yeah. any of you guys uh, had a chance to unlock the new subclasses? Yeah. The, one of the new subclasses? Yeah, I've really only on. done multiplayer stuff so far. Um, I like the maps and stuff like that. It's, it's a lot of fun, but because I need to go back and play the Dark Below and everything before I can dive into this, but um, how are the new classes? Because each one of the classes, the original ones, got now a subclass, right? Like you have the hunter gets a bow and arrow, right? The warlock gets like hammers, right? I think. The the titan gets hammers and And, the warlock gets like pulp. Oh, the warlock gets the electricity. And and unfortunately, I think me and Zachary are using the same class, so we can only speak about, I can only speak about the bow and arrow. I've played played all of them uh, at E3. Oh, okay. So I do have that background. I mean, yeah, it's still kind of the same thing. Like, oh, a bow and arrow one shot instead of like a golden gun or something. But no, well, well, well it does more than that, though. Yeah, because there was, it, that's what I was going to say. is like there's a post effect that allows you to sort of combo with the rest of your weaponry. Yeah, it tethers the enemies. It slows it, slow them down. And it does it so that it, you hit them anywhere on the body and it's a critical instead of like just on the head. You know, so all right. So let's say you're fighting a boss. Uh, all these bosses usually have a weak point and you get the, the yellow damage, which is their critical yeah. hits. All right, so when you use the bow and arrow on them, yes, it does a huge chunk of damage, but it also does this uh, effect on them that their whole body is now their, their, their weak point, and anywhere you hit them is doing a critical. Ooh. So it's actually good for for the team if yeah. you use it at the right moment. And it also works on multiplayer on, on the uh, Crucible stuff. If you can shoot the bow and arrow because it makes this like, giant ball and it's a, it has an area of effect, if you can get like two or three guys, it kills one, the other two are slowed down because they are tethered through uh, to it. And they can they move very slowly, and then you can get crazy easy kills. I I love that. And nice. I will say, like the environments, because they have the entire map at their you know disposal. They're taking you to Venus and Mars and the Reef and the Black like all over, as opposed to like let's be in the Cosmodrome for the first four hours. Let's be on the Moon for this time. And to me, it seems like there's a lot more environmental variety and undulation variety. So you're fighting guys like you can hide behind hills and crest over you know the top of hills and shoot down, and then like there's. 
what do you call it, like obstructions and, and things in the maps that are much more interesting and a lot of fights between factions. And so it feels like a much more fully fleshed out game as opposed to like, we're going to drip feed you content because it's not all ready or it's not all there or we want to. So I guess what you would say is that this is what you would hope for Destiny to be initially, like a lot yeah. more open. Like you I mean, don't, not, you didn't like the, um, because essentially that's what's the big change is like, because you have to be honest, like the environments and everything, I don't think there are all that many new like environments per se, right? Like yeah, in terms there's, of there's not a lot. I mean, the yeah. dreadnought, I like think it's is the a same cooler planets. Than... It might be different areas, right, on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no new planets. No. Well, the dreadnought yeah. is technically a new but it's sub not a planet, but it's a that looks very different than anything else. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, but like still essentially because that was mm -hmm. one thing that I sure. remember you harping on against it. So I'm guessing just maybe like the freedom now where you can decide where to go. Like you don't have to spend. And it's bouncing you around mission, you know, to experience different enemy types, different whatever. And I mean, yeah, there still are issues. I still wish that the environments were how they initially pitched them as like, oh, you're going to be walking through these, you know, lush jungles and stuff. And You do. They're not lush. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh... And maybe after 10, 20 hours, maybe I'll run into same, some of the same things. Like, there obviously is part of it that's like, hey, I haven't played this game for almost a year, so, you know, it, it feels fresh. Yeah. But it's instantly apparent that their shooting and their headshot satisfaction implementation is, like, second to none. Like, I, yeah, I think that the, Destiny's shooting... The shooting mechanics shooting is amazing. Yeah. And, like, the feeling of getting those critical hits is just so perfect. And... I don't know, again, if this is a new implementation for 2.0 or just because you're farther along, but the armor and stuff seems to be more interesting, more color, more... Again, it, it just really feels like at the beginning they're like, baby's first Destiny, and now they're like, okay, big kids, like you can handle a lot more. Well, and remember, remember, you only played up until like level 17. There's always been cool armor, and I've said this before. Yeah, but the burnout we up to level 17 was like... Why? It, it, why am I sitting no through? Time. It's like the Final Fantasy Thirteen thing. Why yeah, sit I through mean, no, twenty that, hours? Of I, I don't know if that's a fair thing because now you're level twenty five and what have you played? Like you're probably level twenty seven now. Twenty eight, level like thirty one or thirty two. Yeah, but so like, let's say if when you're level forty two, will you feel the same way? Yeah, so that's what you I'm know saying. what yeah, I mean. I, so I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I, to me, what impressed me a lot is a. I liked. Um, I, I really, really like that. Like what you said is, I don't know if the armor necessarily has gotten cooler because I know that there was cool armor before, but I feel like now when we're a team and when, you know, like when you drop down and it shows the whole team, mm -hmm. it really feels like we're all from different parts of the galaxy. Like it doesn't feel like we're all just kind of different shades of the same armor. Like nowadays, like when, when I'm in a match, it feels like the armors have gone, there's so much more of them. So it feels like a lot more personalized. Like your guardian is specifically the way that you seeked out to make it look. Or maybe it's just because that's the best gear that is available to you. But I like that a lot. Um, the shooting mechanics are fantastic. Um, a lot of their map design is really, really cool. Again, I've played the multiplayer stuff. So since I played it last... Uh, I think a lot of the maps are really, really neat. Lots of different, like, traversing and verticality to the maps, which is really cool. And from what I've heard, I've heard that, um, like, the storyline for this time, is, it's nothing exceptional. Like, it's not crazy. But at least there is, like, a an interesting narrative. And a narrative that keeps you interested enough to finish it all the way. Um, That's for the point this that, game. yeah, that can't be overlooked. The fact that their storyline and the story missions themselves have become stronger, right? Again, because it's not just like I just did a mission yesterday where you drop in and there's uh, Cabal coming out of. I'm gonna, I might mess up the names. The Cabal are coming out of this like ship, and then you also have like what are the guys that have like the ogres and the knights? What's that faction called, Gabe? Hive. I think it's the yeah, high. The yeah, yeah, they're fighting the against each other, and then this giant tank drops in. You have to take out the tank as these guys are fighting each other, and then if you draw their aggro, they'll fight you. It's not just go and like hold square at a point and then turn and fire waves. And honestly, I think that allowing you to progress through more better missions and level up that way is such a, a stronger idea and stronger way than doing what you initially had to do, where like you drop into the Cosmodrome in old Russia and be like. Go do some missions that are so stupid and see the enemies respawn in over and over again. Like, I think that free roam stuff is horrible and I haven't done any of it again and I'm sure I'd still think it's horrible. But the fact that I'm being pulled along through interesting, varied environments with interesting objectives and a varied amount of enemies and, and variety of enemies, that wins it for me as opposed to like, 
oh, like, Guardian, go collect 40, like, balls of twine from these enemies. Now, mm. loop back and fight the same enemies and collect 20, you know, discs. Like, that... That's why, why so you, lazy why, compared to this. A couple of things. Why were you ever doing that? Like, that's not how people spent the, their thousand hours. Because I didn't want to play multiplayer. No, I, I, know, I didn't want to level up be a multiplayer, and I didn't want to no, do the same strikes over multiplayer. and over and over. Yeah, I thought that's... the bosses sucked in the strikes. The boss I played, Echo of Oryx, the last one I played, he was way better than the other guys. I don't know. I I did always like the bosses in Destiny. Like, I don't know. I, I thought they were always cool. Just, There's one. They were one... very cool visually, and... I mean, they were kind of restricted to what they could do in terms of, like, just how varied they could make them. But there was some variance between the bosses. I remember there was one, like, where you had to, like, hit her first or, like, like a knockback, like that kind of witch. Remember the floating one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't remember her name. But, yeah, you'd have to, like, hit her first to, like, kind of paralyze her or whatever. And only then you could do, like, actual damage to her. So do they tried the to vary it up. But in the well, that's, like, a robot and it has, like, a shield and it fires lasers. And the yeah. Sh- yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That literally mm-hmm. just sits in the center of the room, and you're like, dodge, shoot. Like, that was the that is the focal moment where I was like, I effing hate this game. All right, so I want to talk about a couple of things, right? Now that you're mentioning these things that, you know, the stagnation of, like, okay, these bosses are boring, all these mm-hmm. levels are boring. With the Taken King, they've done some very cool stuff. You haven't played it yet, and this is, like, a super slight – it's not a story spoiler, but it's a spoiler for, for one of the levels. Okay. It's a, it's a stealth mission. You're in third person, you're invisible, and, and you're basically – avoiding enemies right you, you can't okay. get spotted so there's like a self mission in the middle of this where it's in third person which like Ooh, i said variation cool. nice and and another one of the bosses right you, you you're correct in saying that a lot of the times it's just up oh, shoot the weak point until it's dead one of these um i did a, a, a high level strike and there is an enemy it's a giant um what 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 are those things called? harpies Th- those small harpies yes. yeah 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 mm-hmm. all right but this thing's giant okay. and it opens up and closes when it's closed you can't do any damage to it whatsoever and the only way to open it is to get a a sphere and put it in this location that's right there on the map so you, that's the only way you can do damage by getting the sphere and putting it there but while you're trying to do that like the level is actually moving because there's a force field that's like pushing you along Mm -hmm. so this thing's standing in the middle of the room it's shooting at you the level's actually pushing you because there's this like you have this very confined space that you're in and you have to maneuver yourself to where you can get the sphere in the middle uh, to where it needs to go so you can actually do damage to it right while the whole level is moving like there's a lot of like that sounds pretty awesome awesome. so it's like in mario 64 when you have to fight bowser on the star that's falling beneath you and you're like trying to spin around and like get the calluses on your (laughs) hands like that do you get to spin the sticks (laughs) if you want to spin the sticks but yeah it might not lead to success yeah i mean it's really cool to see um from what i've seen also it seems like Generally speaking, the big hardcore audience really enjoyed this expansion, right? So far, at least. Yeah. I've they heard positive it. things. Because I know that the last one they were kind of not very big on, so to speak, right? From what I understood. Because yeah. a lot of the things were removed and adjusted and stuff. So it's great to see. It's really cool to see, again, um, how a game can just like evolve so much. And, of course, we do have to acknowledge, though, the... Um, the point of value in terms of because this is a forty dollar DLC, right? Yes, yes. Forty dollars for the DLC, or if you want to buy a, the the disc thing for sixty dollars, and you yeah. get everything. Yeah, that's because, a really because, good deal. Like if you if you, you never bought have, Destiny, that's a great deal. You have to have the other expansions to play this. You have to have House of Wolves. You have to have the Dark Below. So oh, you don't really? Have, I believe so. Yeah, you have to have them. Wait, um, so why do they sell? I think they sell it by itself. Yeah, that's if you already have everything. Ooh. So See, essentially, so our, you're committing then actually $80. Because the no, other ones not. are 20 each, no? No, no, but they come with the disc. No, 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 I know. But if, if let's say, you're buying just the Taken King, like, let's say you bought Destiny, right? Yeah. And then now, well, yeah, I guess you might as well just buy the disc again. You're better yeah, off yeah. that way. You save money. Yeah, and, so, yeah. And, then, and then GameStop did it to where you give them the old disc and they'll sell you the new one for $40. Ooh, with, that's with a good everything. deal. Yeah. So um, they really incentivize you to go to. That's so if great. you played, like they said, look, okay, you played Destiny. Maybe it wasn't your thing. You don't want to buy all this extra DLC. Give us the old disc. We'll awesome. give you the brand new one for forty dollars, and that comes with every every expansion that we've had. That's cool. And, and, and I would like to take this time to point out the fact that Gabe was wrong. There's not a separate Taken King disc. There is. There it is just not. Has every, yeah. No, there, no, there isn't. I know. I mean, not Taken King alone, but yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. Sure. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm gonna right. play more. We'll see if I get bored or tired. But as of right now, like you, I have, you will. I have switched. I will. Okay. Well, as of now, I've switched teams, and it feels nice to wake up and be like, I want to play Destiny and get some new cool guns. See, here's here's what's gonna happen Beca- because the ending boss fight for this is super cool. Okay. You, you should at least get to that, and you're not like far away. Like it's not like a really long story. And, and like I said, it's yeah, it's so about different. like four and a half hours, right? Yeah, and it's so different that that you're gonna want to do it. Like I said, you, you have that stealth level awesome. coming up. You, awesome. Yeah, you, you have some very cool stuff coming. The last boss, super awesome. And then after that, I don't know how much you're going to get into like I'm gonna the do raiding. strikes, and me and you are going to raid. Yeah. The, oh, the we raid need six. Coming. We can find six people. That's and gross. you don't you don't have to have six people at all. How many can you do? You need. You can go in by yourself. Really? They've switched the raid, so you don't need six. You don't have to have six. No. Oh well, that's. I went into a raid by myself last night. How'd you do? Not well. I'm pretty sure that the strike missions are still six. No, aren't they? Strikes are three. three strikes are oh, three. Oh, three. Okay. That's kind of weird that they. Just took that off. I guess you could just yeah, do it on your own. Raids used to be six, but you can always do them on your own if you want. Oh, like, really? You, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. That's cool. People, people. Do you have raids. to have six, or could you do it like with two or three or four? That I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's either alone or, or at least six. I don't know. Well, there's okay. three of us here. We can get All Trevor. Right. Well, that's four. <laughs> we get two other people. No, no. But I think you could do nah. Yeah, you could do it here. I'll Google it just to be sure, but I'm All fairly right. confident. That in the meantime, while he's Googling that, why don't we discuss uh, a new Nintendo release, right? All right. We can discuss uh, Super Mario Maker. We've been playing that more. Yeah, we have. I love right? that game. I love it, too. I think it's All one of right. the most innovative releases in I don't long. know if it's innovative. It, are you Gabriel? Are you, are you worried at all about Mario Maker getting repetitive very quickly? No. I, from what I've seen, no. But I, I guess when you say that, like long term, in terms of like three, six, nine months, maybe. I, I want to come back to the innovation really quickly. What's innovative about it? It's Mario with Little Big Planet. Like innovate, like. Eh. Well, Little Big Planet, the creation was much more difficult and yielded much dumber yeah, results. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but the idea, the concept, not necessary. Itself. There were some really cool levels in Little Big Planet. Well, and I also feel like the accessibility here, like on course yeah, levels, accessibility. Go. Yes, I think yeah. that they made it way simpler to build levels, like to the point where and, I'm building levels and I typically wouldn't like invest that much time, but I'm like coming up with my own creative little things to do. And even execution, right? Super Mario Maker, amazing game. I love it. I can't say that for a little big planet. I like it just fine, mm-hmm. but I'm not. I'm not into them. I love Super Mario Maker. I think it's a fantastic game, but innovative. I wouldn't say that because the concept. It's a concept that's been done. And there's not a whole lot changing. It, it's a creative. It has game. been done. I guess. I, I guess that, maybe you could say it's innovative for Nintendo. Different graphical styles, enemies that are now crossing over what? into different graphical how, styles. How is that? innovative though like what game has allowed you to create with different graphical styles that chronicle a history of a franchise yeah but that innovative evil land let you (laughs) change innovation innovation to me means that something's like different and it changes the landscape of things yeah if if anything if anything the original little big planet was innovative because that create that because that's what created this whole you know create levels thing you know what i mean yeah but that that was while on console yeah yeah on console that's where user created came from but it's right i feel like this is very different because to me little big planet was also very much like okay put some material down and like try to like make something out of it whereas this is much more like <laughs> sounds like the exact same uh, 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 no okay. this one they give uh, you look, the exact look. blueprint okay, that, well, okay and, do you put materials down Okay, but in okay, Little you like wait, draw and you're like, no, like oh, stretch you... and it's like all awkward. And this yeah, is like look, okay, that's execution. Like, yeah, execution. Again, we can talk okay, about it's not innovative. innovative. I, I, I hey, think it, it remember is. Remember when we played cool. GTA Creator and when we played uh, Watch Dogs Creator okay, and we played Witcher Three Creator. Moving on back to Mario Maker. I think that the levels that people make are ridiculous. Like yes. uh, I've had levels that had like a Mario Kart where you're driving through the level, yeah, which dude, just so awesome. blew my mind. I was like, wait, you can you even do that? But how could it blow your mind if it's not innovative? Because oh, it's you can not get innovative. your mind blown, but yeah, you can. But you can hold on, Zachary. Are you saying you can only something can only blow your mind if it's innovative? Get out of here! I'm just get saying it is innovative. I don't know any other game where I get okay. to go make cool I, levels and I play agree. other it's ones. Innovative, easy. I, yeah, you, I think and it's there's innovative. like you can like be other characters, and it's crossing over franchises, and it 
ties in nostalgia with also Oh dude, come on. It's, as far as like being other characters, it's way it's just as like aesthetical. It's, it's there is and means also a little big mean. planet, you can have a, a Metal Gear sack boy, you can have all these Little Big Planet controls like, horribly. It's not I even in the same class. I know, I know. It doesn't control uh, super, horribly. Super yeah, it Mario does. Maker it, it is a superior game in every way. I'm okay. not saying little bit. Okay, better. it's not innovative. Okay. I'm saying little it is Big innovative Planet first. Nonetheless, Last of Us is also not innovative. Don't conform to him. I I, I really enjoyed... um, There was a lot of levels. There's like this Uh. sub-genre of levels that are being built where it's just hold right or hold left. Right. Right? (laughs) Where you just hold and then like it's so perfectly timed where the notes will bounce you around all the way to the ending. Now, that's the only concern that I had is the first time I did that, I was like, Oh my god. The second time I did that, I was like, that is pretty awesome. The third time I did that, I was like, this is really cool. The fourth time, I was like, we need some different levels, guys. Yeah, well, there's a a million levels. No, 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 I know. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm just, I'm hoping that, like, I'm hoping that it still won't get too repetitive. Go Like, looking at it a month down the line, I hope people can still come up with some sort of crazy cool way to build, to explore a, a level. Have you done the Super Meat Bros level? Yes, I tried it multiple times. I won. I, I, I you tried beat it. After, it? I, I tried it. After I'm good at that game, was done, in spite of what was, everyone says. That was done by uh, Andre, game right? Yeah. From yeah, yeah, game yeah, game yeah. I tried it. I did the first jump, the second jump, the, and I jumped across and then failed. Um, I, I I tried it too because I saw Zach beat it, and I'm fairly certain I can beat it, but I didn't have the patience for it at that time. So okay. kudos to Zachary for for being able to finish. Do you it have it on record or? Yeah, it's on. Video. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, that that was. I a shouldn't be cool like level. smiling as much as I am right now, but I feel very proud of my Mario. Dude, skills. that's a tough <laughs> level. Yeah, that that yeah. you should be proud like, of that one. I, I just like the fact that people are experimenting with, and I know this is from Little Big Planet as well. But like, there are some levels where you have to move a mushroom. So you have to use your head to like bounce a mushroom and keep moving along the level to eventually collect it at the end. Or I played one today. There's a quiz show, and they tied power-ups into the correct answers so using the little like text bubbles you needed certain power-ups to advance in the level and they would be in the correct answer you know block. question yeah. block or whatever, mm-hmm. which was a genius yeah. idea um i think the integration of like hey we're going to try to make metroid that metroid level that me and gabe have played using power-ups to accomplish objectives it's doing things with mario that and to me i guess maybe this is where more of the innovation comes hey we've made mario for the most part it's a straightforward platform where sometimes we have secrets sometimes we have alternate exits but now you're taking an established franchise and it's like a chopped and screwed remix, right? You're like mixing with it and spinning the pot to come up with a wholly new concoction that sometimes is more fun than like that Metroid thing. If there was a Mario game that had stuff like that, like holy crap, that would be great because utilizing elements of the level as sort of like checkpoints, right? Like you can't get past here unless you collect this power. Sure, it sometimes creates awkward situations and fail states, but for the most part, like... It's so cool to see people being creative in ways that Nintendo hasn't before. Yeah, so is it innovative for Mario? Sure. Is it innovative overall? Like, to me, no. Um, one thing I want to say, right, how annoying is it mm-hmm. when you play a level? Yes. Um, especially, especially I came across uh, this a lot with the 100, uh, 100 Mario Challenge. I like those a lot, by the way. Yes. Um, the title of the level usually gives you, like, a little hint as to what you're supposed to do. Like, yeah. You know, there, there's one of them that's called, like, Just Go, and you literally just go. So, when I see one in Japanese, and I don't know what it's saying, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I wish... Is there a way to filter it so that I only see, like, levels that I can read? <laughs> yeah, you can... On, on the left, sure. there's a thing where you can pick if you want levels from... Oh, yeah, from, yeah, yeah, from Like, sort by weekly, yeah. all-time, region, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, you cool. can. I really uh, like when I get the Japanese ones, though, because I'm like... What who knows it? like yeah. what's this gonna be it's gonna <laughs> yeah. be great the one thing that is cool is like you can't upload a level until you've beaten it yourself so you know right. for yeah. a fact that there is always a way to beat it the problem is i have encountered a couple of levels that there's just so much stuff going on yeah. that i just simply like I, I keep going down a warp pipe i'm like over here then i go through a door i'm over here it's like it, you know it's like a rpg suddenly in terms of having to explore how long to get through the level right. um so that's a little bit weird, and with that in mind, I kind of wish that right now they don't have checkpoints, right? No. no. That's something that I wish they would add, because there is those really lengthy levels where you go through like a really tough section, and then if you die, it's like, well, all the way from the beginning, go right. have fun. Like I wish that for those lengthier levels, they could have a checkpoint so that you could like start from there. Um, I don't know how to do that, because maybe that becomes like difficult from a standpoint of like, 
like you know defeating the level like how do they still check that you can beat the level without reaching the checkpoint or like doing it prior to reach like you know what i mean that probably technically it's a little bit more difficult but i wish they would add checkpoints it'd be so helpful for some of those some, levels another thing some of the levels that are like super like long and creative like there's still that time limit i wish we could get rid of the time limit. yeah that wanna, is something i've seen a lot of i want to i want to just see the well yeah if like, you had a checkpoint that solves that too because yeah, then you wouldn't have to work. Some of these levels, they took so much effort, and they're so meticulous with, with how much stuff is in it and discovering things that you don't know are there. Mm-hmm. And then you have this time limit, so you can't take your time. Sometimes I want to take my time and admire what the creator has done. Um, but, I mean, Nintendo has has uh, opened up to like changing things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Smash Brothers, they've been adding stuff and things like that. So, I don't know. Maybe we get a checkpoint yeah. system. Maybe Hopefully. we get the, the time removed or whatever. But I wanted to ask both of you, actually. Where does this fall, like, as far as your favorite games of the year? Because for me, for sure, this is top five. I absolutely love Super Mario Maker. Is it anywhere near you guys for, for, for top five? It might be even top three for me, honestly. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a hard one to evaluate because the content is not provided by the, the developer. And so I don't know that... Well, so my experience could be far superior or far inferior to yours based on the selection of levels I played. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's where I'm unsure of how to evaluate. Like, at what point do I cap and say, this is Mario Maker? Because unless what- unless if their 100 Mario system has some sort of cool, like, filtering system on the back end that we are not aware of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, like, will push certain levels for people to enjoy. Because I know for a fact that a lot of people have gotten to play that level where there's a lot of those springs and you're a spring. Yeah. And you have to push your way out. Like, a lot of people play that level during the 100 Mario. So I'm sure that there is a way to, like... Maybe on the back end, they push certain levels for you to... To make sure that you play them, so to speak. Yeah. Based on a certain star system or something like that. Yeah, but, you know, this is basically, like, an infinite game. So when I say it's, like, one of my favorite games of the year, I mean, like, hey, out of every yeah, game coming out this year, this is one of the top five that I'm having the most fun with. Yeah, it's certainly fun. Like I, I, I'm, and I'm not sure right now. Like I, I don't know if I could 100% say that it is there. It's certainly in my top ten, without a doubt. Um, I think I need to play more to, because I, what, what I've experienced. Maybe it's because of the way I'm selecting levels, but I've experienced a lot of levels that feel very similar. You know what I mean? So I want, I, I want to try to find more variance in the levels and then via that i think i'd be able to like really reflect on whether or not this is a game that i could see myself playing three months down the line six months down the line a year down the line and still enjoying and having fun with i that's the only thing is like right now i hope that as the game goes on that the creativity and the people who create the levels continue to come up with more and more cool ways to use the tool sets that is given to them yeah for me it's definitely up there definitely top five for sure it's just how high does it climb i think you know i played a stage today that was called like the many doors of mario and it almost had like a space theme the way they incorporate music some people really put so much effort to even like replace the enemy death sounds like i felt like i was killing dogs and i was killing goomba i was like oh no shiloh like what i don't want to kick the puppy uh but have you have either of you found because they say on the back of the box oh there's like 80 or 90 or 100 or whatever courses in the game like if you didn't have internet where are those courses i was about to ask that like does anyone know because like the one made by uh michelle ansel or like that stuff like where are those courses um that's a good point i think it might be in the category like where it's creators and you just have to sort by them or something yeah i think there there is what i want to do is disconnect my internet and see what mario maker gives me when i go to course world Okay. And maybe yeah, that's, that's where you go. it is. Do so that. I'll experiment with that and let you guys know next week. But I, it's Cuz you see it does say right here take on crazy pre-made courses. So right. there are courses that are in the game that they included right off the bat. So Now, one yeah. issue I do want to bring to light and I like I know Nintendo's not listening, but if they were it'd be great. Um I do worry about the the star system being so top heavy. I know you can sort by weekly and, and maybe over time that'll be helpful, but these initial courses, like the don't press anything and run to the right one and don't press anything, like how are they ever going to be topped ever? 
because that's what people see when they get the game and they're going to start and then like, yeah that it's, was it, that's like what i'm saying that was my problem is when i started looking at the top like out of the top 20 or so a good half of them were literally the ones hold to the right and just bounce around and again and I, those are amazingly done levels but i just hope that there is a way that other ideas can yeah and i don't even mind that, that it's list. that idea i just mean those specific levels because the star system i guess the filter is going to be the only way but if like how will a level maybe ever they will overtake cycle those? things out maybe yeah. you know like they'll have a period where cyclically they'll just be like, like okay delist you like itunes yeah or something like that yeah, yeah. there you go good reference um so that's been really fun it's been i think it's a nice title for the wii u it doesn't save it in any way or turn things around but more nothing can it adds it adds to a unique library that i think is always underrated dude i i honestly like i secretly wish that this came with a uh, nx like if this was a launch title for nintendo's next system that would have been amazing like just At built that... into the system not even on a disc just like no, no, load no, no, this like app if... up i think no, that would no. be super sweet though yeah, I don't know what the controller's going to be. It's probably not going to have a touchpad. Do you see the new button. patent today? No. Scroll wheels on the controller? Ooh, I, I don't cool. know what you'd do with that. You'd be able Mouse. to read books quicker. <laughs> no, but yeah, like... Man, cause Mario's this going is... vertical. Now it's a up and down <laughs> platformer, not a left or right. Oh, like, I, uh, I think... remember that old school game? Like, what was it called? Icy Tower, I think? Where you'd have to, like, run and jump? Some people know what I'm talking about. Okay. The, Ice climbers? It's a hugely popular game. It was all the fans of, of Claw out there. They, they know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, but I, I really wish that this was like a launch, uh, a launch game for the, whatever Nintendo's doing next system wise. Because I think that that would have been a crazy it hit. Was like right now, it, it was sent out to to die. Not not to die. I think I'm sure it didn't do well, but you know, relatively because of the Wii U's failure. It'll but, be great. Yeah, the, the game's awesome. I love it. There you go. So yeah, all in all, Mario Maker, great, very cool, unique experience. Uh, another quick thing that I wish they would have done is have uh, all the different characters, the different costumes that you can wear in the other art styles. Yeah, uh, yes, it's only limited. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, it's only limited. Um, that might be DLC though. You know, like considering they've been doing so much DLC for Splatoon and stuff. What if let's say February or March, they're like, hey, listen, we're adding in the art style for new Mario Brothers U for all the costumes or something. Like, yeah. that would be really cool. I'd love to see that. Especially if I it's think free DLC. That'd be awesome. Whatever they do with DLC could be interesting because at a certain point, like, I think they will need to, you know, like, inject a little bit of new blood into the creation tool. So maybe they're saving, like, Super Mario Bros. 2 or maybe they're saving, you know, like, Yoshi's Island or some way to, like, keep this thing going long term and especially yeah. like you said since they have done it with splatoon uh and mario kart i mean all oh, of yeah. their latest titles they've yeah. been doing that and Hyrule they've done Warriors. a great job with it so um let's hope that they uh, do that and look there is also room for i'm sure adding more tools like actual things that they sure. could add like hey we're adding these types of blocks or we're adding these enemies or we're adding like you know just even more stuff added in to the game I think so, it's fun to cool. see like the weird like WarioWare kind of esque uh, additions, like a cat paw slapping the screen, or like confetti, or like weird people yelling. Sure. Or when Mario gets skinny and he's like all like, yeah, it looks weird. derpy and weird. Like that's pretty yeah. fun. Um, so like they've they've done a little bit extra. Besides, it's not just like straight up Mario. Like there is some addition, and yeah, they definitely could put more stuff in. Um, people ask this all the time: Is it worth a buy? I think so. And I think all of us would agree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I and, mean, and especially if you own the Wii U, like, without a doubt. Like, since Splatoon, this is the next big game to get, without a doubt. Yeah. And Taken King, I'm still confused on the pricing structure, but if you're a brand new Destiny player, it's $60, right? Yes. yes. So at $60, with what it does and how much content you have access to, I think that's a, a buy Oh, yeah, as well. without a doubt. At $60, yeah. if you've never played Destiny, at $60 to get The Dark Below, House of Wolves, Original Destiny, and Taken King, is that is quite the value package. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just to point out really quickly, like, man, we're in the thick of it. Like, and every game that's coming out, I'm, I'm liking a lot. Um, I, I think maybe the only one I don't like as much is Mad Max. But even that's like not a terrible game. It's just like less good. But Metal Gear came out, love it. This love it. Um, the, the, like even smaller stuff. Soma's coming out. Uh, Madden, everybody loves. So all, all these games. Yeah, are we'll out. see. Like, I mean, this year has the potential to be a very, very, very highly ranked year in terms of gaming because we had a very strong beginning of the year. 
Then, of course, as always, Summer was a little bit of a dud. And then, well, except for Batman. Um, but now we're, like, into the swing of things, so to speak. And even uh, so much so, I know that you guys did say you want me to touch on real quick on Disney Infinity 3. Yes. You've played yeah. it, too. Um, yeah. It's really cool to see how this game has, like... Like, in my experience so far with the Toys to Life uh, category of games, I've said that Skylanders has been always, like, a better game. Like, in terms of, like, you know, the actual mechanics, um, the way that it runs frame rate-wise, the way that it plays and everything, it's been a better game. And if you look at the scores of Disney Infinity 1 and 2, that reflects that. But with Disney Infinity 3, is like, they really went out and polished a lot of the flaws that they had. Like, the gameplay, in my opinion, is, like, actually fun. Like, the um, the characters with the lightsabers and stuff, they control fantastically well. Um, I've not played many of the uh, new Disney uh, characters. Have you had a chance to play any of those? Um, like, Mickey, Minnie, No, Cora, I've done Flynn, the Star Wars stuff, Milan. and I just... When I think of Disney Infinity 3, all I think about is that uh, ball sport level. Oh, <laughs> listen! But to that be fair, amazing. to be fair, that was not a that was a older level. Yes, that wasn't. No. Yeah, but that's that, yeah. So, so, that's my favorite Disney Infinity moment. And so how, you see, you talk about innovative Disney Infinity gives you a heck of a lot of stuff to do as well. Like if you look back, like I remember in Disney Infinity two, people created the Wreck It Ralph game. And, like, it worked. Like, you'd have to climb and, like, mm-hmm. activate little buttons. And once you activate all, you, you'd you open, like, little areas. So there are a lot of tools in Disney Infinity as well. And uh, this year, I think they just improved those things that were not particularly strong, like the actual gameplay. Like, driving the cars feels good now. Like, it has good swerving. Uh, they, they went out and they got high-level developers to work on those specific aspects. Right. And now it has come together to be a really cool package. And... The reviews and the response is definitely reflected in that. I mean, it's getting like 80 and 85s across the board, which is pretty gosh darn good. And it's a good game, not just a good kid's game. Do you think that they repackage a starter pack with the uh, Episode 7 characters to sort of like have a second launch almost? Yeah. I mean, at this point, again, they they have confirmed that Ray and Finn are coming. Like we've seen the actual figures for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's coming up no matter what. Um, I think that since they launched this in August, it, it makes perfect sense if they, let's say, release in January, the uh, like redo another starter pack where it's like, here's episode seven. So you could go ahead Kylo and pick this Kylo and one. Ray. And yeah. Some, you know. yeah. yeah. But, but why didn't they get them out like in time for like Force Friday? Like I'm sure they would have done one. Because I'm guessing it was either a, a case of where they were working on the other play sets. Cause they have I, I think it's all embargo related. Par- pardon me. I, I think it's all embargo related. That yeah, just like and, with Battlefront, and, and nothing that's the about other the movie thing. can yeah. be released. Because, like, think about it. Battlefront comes out earlier than the game, but it doesn't have any story stuff. Like, it's going to have yeah. planets, it's going to have visuals, but it's not going to have that any... isn't allowed to be out at exactly. launch on Before November seventeenth. Exactly. Yeah. So imagine here, like, the playsets literally like play through that story. So how would they get around that? Like, how do you do the episode seven without spoiling stuff? So I'm guessing it's going to come out either maybe like late December, but I doubt even that I'm guessing it's going to be like an early January release for that. Yeah, man. Imagine if Tomb Raider and Halo like do really well and and Battlefront does really well. How hard is it? What about Fallout? And Fallout. How hard is it going to be to pick game of the year? Because Metal Gear Fallout, let's say Tomb Raider's a 90. Let's say Halo's a 90. It's very easy. The game of the year came out February 10th. Evolve. Oh, mm. oh my god! All right, so yeah, yeah moves along. I, it's an amazing year already, so I love it. Yeah, I'm. Do you think there's any? It's interesting because early on when we started the show, a lot of our time was spent on on indie games. We talked a lot about stuff like Axiom Verge and Ori, and since then we've covered very little. And yet, tons of indie games come out every day. Mm, not really. No. Well, I mean, it's not like we. It's. Whenever there's a major like indie, major indie, that sounds weird. But whenever there's like a bigger indie game, I always bring it up. Like everybody's gone to the Rapture I brought up. I still um, think it's so weird that there's such a glut of them, and I feel like it's totally like it's so hard to pick what to play in that genre. Not, I think the next notable one, Soma, comes out very soon. I, I we have well, I have it already. I'm gonna start playing it soon. Um, I, I'm excited for it. It looks super creepy. I dig it. Gabe, how are we gonna do that? What do you mean? How are we gonna play this game? It's so scary. I, I, well, I said it looked creepy. Do you get scared easily? No. Well, dang it. Max, do you get scared easily? Um, it depends. I mean, like, some jump scares could get me pretty bad, and then a lot of, like, real-life stories that can just maybe, get, like, maybe, spooky. 
Maybe me and Taylor will play it together too. There you go. It'll be good. So I have a buddy, mm-hmm. a blanket yeah. buddy. Yeah. You and Voldemort we, can play it together. We should yeah. do. We should do an Until Dawn podcast. Yes, we should. That's a nice I bonus content. That game, Ooh. and I am. I was so mad. I, you don't even Why? know. Like, Why? Why? I literally. Mad? Because it, my favorite character died. Who, that's the that's the exciting part about Until Dawn. I got I got that's torpedoed not exciting into the wall and then worked, shredded from the I've inside. I've worked my about, entire game to keep her alive. That's not and the point then of the she games. dies in the last scene. That's not. That's how horror movies go sometimes. That's not how go- She's Listen, the survivor. She's obviously built to be the one person that makes it out of there alive. Apparently not. And until, until apparently Dawn, that's not the case. Until Dawn is like a horror movie director simulator. <sighs> and I played it the most like a horror movie director where every almost everybody dies. Like These people are like, the way to play the game is to have everyone survive. Yeah, I guess if you want it to be boring. But the cool part of that game is seeing Matt get stabbed through the throat. The cool part is seeing Ashley get her head chopped off and then it roll out. Like, that's the best what makes part this game of the exciting. game. It is seeing Emily just get crushed by that tower. Because Emily's horrible. This is, I saw someone on Twitter say that their favorite character is Emily. And I, I literally almost vomited all over my iPhone. Block that person. <laughs> Mute them. Just never hear from them. Get out of here. <laughs> How, can Emily's the worst. How can Emily's you say that? How can you say that? Emily's the worst, dude. I don't know. I, to me, I don't even... I really didn't dislike her that much. <gasps> she's the worst. Okay, she's the okay. Worst. explain to me why she's so horrible. Gabe, go first. How can I do okay, this? What are offensive? the qualities that made her horrible? She is a complete and she total is obnoxious annoying. brat, but not that B word. Yeah. Th- okay. That, that's what in I want to say. Of, She's in a terms complete of, that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is, is she like a nice person to be around? Maybe no. not. Necessi- no. Okay. But She's annoying. What does she do then? She, Terry, look my, how, look she how she treats argument. her boyfriend. Look how she treats everyone. She's like, she, oh my God, like, get me out of here. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. By Why? proxy, by proxy, uh, I hate Matt. Why do you I hate Matt? Matt's such a I sweet could, guy. Because he let himself get yeah, sucked he into He let this. himself. He's only like 17, 18. How, yeah. He's, uh, dude, when I was 17, mean, she has like than... literally, she has one disagreement, right? Like, no, with she is. Jess. No, she's the worst. She's the worst. Oh, God. I, I don't know how they're even hate friends like, with her. I don't think she had any. Yeah. I tried to keep everyone alive, and at the end, it ended up being four people survived. I had two. I had four. I, 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 I had three. But I'll say this. I killed Emily on purpose, <laughs> and then by proxy, I had Matt killed on purpose. Th- that two, they weren't going to survive. Uh, they weren't. Like, you can't, until now, you cannot trust let's me. Do a, let's do a bonus sp- spoiler cast to this, because I, I have a lot I want to say. But um, Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah, okay. But that's such a... Honestly, that might be my game of the year. I'm, I, that sounds so stupid, but really, like it, uh, it doesn't. I don't think oh, it sounds man. stupid. It's, it's a, a it's not game. even a great game, but it's such a great it experience. Is. And I think game. no, it's not a great game technically and uh, I'll be quiet. proficiently. It's Te- not a great technically. What's Gabe, wrong you have to separate it? quality from enjoyment. They're two totally no, separate I, things. No, I know, but what's wrong with it quality wise? It looks good. There's it not a lot of gameplay. Well. There's some. No, there isn't, there's some tech it, what, issues. Like the choices don't always like. There's a lot of issues. But at the same time, it is. It has some of the best like face capture animations and like stuff like that. Her so. face alone, like, oh, oh Emily. Yeah, Emily, I'm with you, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate her, dude. I, I hate mean, her. I, Josh instantly his sunken eyes. I was like, nope, this guy's going. And then Emily, I was I just, like, the only she's thing a brat. Is that she's going. Is like I predicted who was the psycho. Like, like literally twenty minutes in. I really, was like, I didn't. Yeah, right away because yeah. of those eyes and everything. It's like so obvious. All right. Well, you got to move on because we don't want to spoil it for okay. people. There's, M- we'll have on. a spoiler cast. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming out soon. Soma. Uh, I'm excited for Soma, man. I am. It's, it's it's the age of the toys because we got Disney Infinity. We had a new wave of Amiibos, by the way. You guys pick any of those up? Um, I yeah, I got uh, Bowser Jr., Gandorf, and Olimar. I've given up. I got all of them. Oh, I know. Nice. Yeah. Right. Some of them you. were like really rare over here for some reasons. Zero Suit Samus was a little bit difficult to find. What about Doctor? Oh, I, I want to get yeah. I, de- I need to get one of those like eight bit Mario's. Right? Those came out. Yeah. 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 Oh, I need to get one of those. There's two, by the way. Yeah, there's, there's one brown inside the bundle. And red and blue and red, right? Wh- yeah. Which one are you looking for? Blue and red. That one, uh, the blue and red is only in the bundle, the console bundle. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not exclusive here in Canada. It's different. Oh, wow. Here you can buy it at, um, I think, I think most stores. Or it's a Walmart exclusive, something like that. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the lightning round. Do it. Ooh, crackle, crackle, and pop. Da, 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 da. Where's that? Wait, that when was did this Monday turn into football music? What, 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 what's that cereal? The the one that the name of the characters is Crackle, Pomp, and what's the other one? Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. Yeah, Rice Krispies. Yeah, okay. 
I hadn't seen Rice Krispies in forever. Our first lightning round. Uh, remember, you can send your lightning rounds or your emails to can't stop asking at gmail.com where I will lovingly caress your words with my brain. Okay. Uh, Serena writes in. She is a lovely person. She said, first off, thanks again for having the mini meetup at PAX. It was fun. You guys are just as awesome in person as you are on the cast. Also, and I, I hate reading this, Max, but I'm going to read it anyways. I can vouch and say Max is not as short as he looked in, in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, you Serena I appreciate that but she, she has some short. she has some uh, lightning round topics for us that we're going to quickly uh, go through um, yeah. cartridges or discs cartridges <laughs> discs Gabe you have a real like giddy spot about cartridges or something yeah I don't know why he's so happy about <laughs> cartridges <it. laughs> cartridges bro <laughs> hey, cartridges oh. Look, something oh shit something about blowing into those things right what, what, even though I, that was never going to make them work yeah <laughs> like uh, you can't blow on these discs man and make it look yes, stupid you can, you can go loves and then like rub blowing. them on your shirt alright um, I say discs it's a lightning well, round cartridges, discs I, I don't know I like the uh, Mario Maker's disc Sure. Cartridges. Yeah. Cool. I, I like discs because they, in general, like offer us uh, way more room for games. So there we go. More of a technical right. reason why. PlayStation sure. 1, N64, or Dreamcast? PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1. N64. <laughs> PS1 is honestly one of the most atrocious graphical styles. Okay, like all, sure. all the consoles sure. that go back. M- it's a lightning round. Move, move all right. Um, stylized it's graphics silly. or photorealistic realistic graphics? Stylized graphics. Stylized. Ooh, look at, we're on point, Max. We're on point. Realistic. Um, Ew. Yeah. What? I'm what? There, you don't have one game that you love that has realistic graphics. The Last of Us, Until Dawn. So I, I saw the, the Twitter. Okay, okay, okay I, but I mean, oh. like in general, those are games that everybody else also likes. Like your, like you know, ooh, I like this game, but everybody else doesn't like it. Okay, I really like stylized as well. But if you can make it, okay, I like pretty. Can can that be a category? <laughs> That's not what she can like. Dr- dress it up like a princess, and I'm prettier. on board. Like, do not think. Okay, okay right, Wind stylized. Waker, Mario. Yeah. No, but uh, like, it, but like, if I could see like a, a Killzone, Shadowfall, okay. or Until Dawn, Princess Zelda, I would be sweating. You are a princess. Move on. Thanks. All right. Um. Next, this guy wrote in with lightning round questions, but they're not lightning round questions. So you've completely unlightning fied. You've yeah. unlightningified me. Okay. In, in a very weird way. So I'm going to make up my own lightning round now. Oh, here we go. He's bringing the heat on, now. On the spot. And I'm going to say... Um, Packer, Packers or Lions? Packers. No, that's gross. It's such an obvious choice. Do you like cheese or you like cute animals with cuddly manes? Duh. Um, okay, so... <laughs> iPhone, one will kill you. The other one will fill your belly. And make you smell bad. Um, iPhone 6S, gold, rose gold, space gray, or white? I like the rose gold. It looks sweet. That's what I got. I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> so pumped. I'm not gonna get I don't one. Know. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm only upgrading the year after. I always wait like three yeah, years between. Yeah. The I, four I, years. I, ne- I never get the S. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, I still have but the four the, but, S. I think so. I'm waiting. Wow. Yeah. I, I I saw that at, at PAX and I wanted to make fun of you, but then I was gonna feel bad. <laughs> I was gonna be like, "What are those?" and point at your phone. Have you seen that? Max? What is that? What is the this? origination of that? Because I don't, I don't know where. Wait, I don't so know where. I just I, see. I, it on my... It's embarrassing to have a two-year-old phone. No, it's like four years old. No, it's you not five, five, five S, six, six S, and then four yeah, S, so five. Yeah, you, maybe it's a five S then. I don't know, but it, but it's not that old. I know for a fact. Well, because you you said you said four S, so it's maybe, a 4S. maybe it's not a four S. I don't know. Okay. I don't have it close to me. I wish I could show you so you could identify. Mm, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's the one that the first year when they made the huge one. Like this was the first like, year that they made the huge one. No, no, you no. Don't no have, you don't have a six. No, 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 no. He does not have a six. No, like you know how they made there was. A does first does it have the thumb thing? Does it have the thumb thing? It, it was. Oh wait, it was the year that the yeah it does have the thumb thing. That's a 5S. Uh, okay. Then it's a five S. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's only the, two years old. Okay, yeah. there we go. So You're two, year two old. years old. What's up? You're two years old. What's up? Two years old. Um, right. and then my other lightning round question. Is Matthew Stafford or Aaron Rodgers? No, Aaron stop, Rodgers. Gabe. These Super are, Mario oh. Maker or Metal Gear? Okay, Metal Gear. Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker right now because I haven't played Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, and Zach's only played like an hour. Right? Okay. <laughs> all right. The next question is: Would you have, you have you guys all seen the trailer for the movie The Martian? Yes. Yes. That looks There's good. been two okay. already. Yes. So The Martian, okay. The Republican Debates, or a private Skype call with me. The Martian. The Martian. A private screening of the Martian with you. Okay, there we go. 
I like that. The now Martian. <laughs> the Force Awakens. That's what I want to pick. Yeah. So, all right. So, so that's the lightning round for you. There it um, is. Uh, guys, send right, in better lightning rounds. <laughs> we didn't get a whole lot of lightning rounds this week, yo. Yeah, yeah. Guys, send in more lightning rounds because the ones that we had were, were great. Yeah. Shout out to, to Sabrina and, and Serena. So, no, Serena. Sabrina, right? Serena. Okay, not Sabrina. The same, the same teenage witch. This, no, this is not, you know, the girl with Haunter and Gengar. Okay. And Abra and Kadabra. All, right, all right, so shout out no to No spoon you, bending. We, we need more people to send them in because other than that, we only had Zachary and his magic hands. And Max came up with one too. Gabe, you're, you're, the, you're the odd one. man out. I asked two of them. No, I didn't. You just refused to take part in them. Okay, that's yeah, true. We all contributed. It was, a, it was a group effort. Uh, Emails, can't stop asking at gmail.com is that's where true. you send your words. If you want to send a video, that's cool too. And we still need more music. Get on that music, man. I, I, I have an Musical. email that I'm going to write into you right now verbally. Okay. 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 okay this Twitter exchange about the, the the Last of Us. Yeah. Um. I think I think people either misunderstood what you're they saying. Did. I'm going to apply chapstick. I hope it's not too inappropriate. It's not. I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So what did you mean? Because just now you got uh, someone else is still talking about it, saying how was it uh, underused? Well, I don't even know. What you're okay, so about. there there was a Twitter okay, what exchange is where this? someone I don't know. What someone this was is. someone Give was me a very bit of background. Ex- someone was very okay. Game Riot was very excited that The Last of Us Two was accidentally confirmed in this Naughty Dog video where it he said like it wasn't. Hey, I don't think so either. Okay, I mean, anyways. it's obvious that they're gonna work on it, but it's right, also so, it, they just said like you can't. Okay, whatever. So my issue with that was the surprise and the like enthusiasm over that, which to me drives me absolutely bonkers because because like you don't a, like to be happy. No, I do. I love oh. to be happy, and I'm happier this week than I've been in forever. Wow, um, perfect. But like, it's it's just such like a YouTuber thing to be like like oh my god like Last of Us two and like I can't. It's just cringe. With like, you can't be Lasso's. enthusiastic about something. No, but it's like the way it's carried out. Oh, and Last what? of Us Two is like was inevitable, okay. and I don't know. There's something cringeworthy about when like it's like if okay, it's like if they were like, oh my god, Assassin's Creed's coming out next year. Like whoa, 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 like a new one, like. No, it's not. It's it. nothing I wouldn't like put it, that. I wouldn't put it quite on that. And level. also, <laughs> and also, like I have, I have a bone to pick with Naughty Dog because I'm a little bit nervous and upset with them that it seems like with new leadership they are going to turn into a sequel churn house. Not really. They Dude, could very okay, easily. Okay, based. Uh, what about when based they worked on, yeah, on Uncharted? On the, the entire PlayStation Three generation, they worked on Uncharted. Yeah, that's not so good. But that was opinion. prior to this new management that you're saying yeah but now they're gonna make last of us 2 and uncharted but, 4 but they were always gonna make the last of okay, us 2 no matter what yeah not, maybe not if they had someone cooler in charge i don't know i'm very excited i'll play the game it'll be great but just don't don't act like it's a surprise okay that was my all issue right. i okay. love the game. All, right, go, all right go on to the actual emails all right david gibson writes in <laughs> It's just I like the his weirdest name. thing to be upset about. Like seriously, <laughs> no, don't act, like, don't you dare be surprised about it. Same. People. Listen, it's the same don't issue. Don't you dare. I, <laughs> don't you dare be happy. Okay. Do not. Same, are you smiling? No. Don't you smile. Listen. It's How dare you love something, Zachary? Stop. How dare you? It's the same issue that I have when people are like Fall Four is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. You yeah. gotta play it. Last of Us Two could Cheers. suck butt. It could be horrible. It could okay, be terrible. Sure, it could be. So but don't get excited about why? it. Why? Why not? Let you them feel excited. You haven't seen anything about it. Don't yeah, tell me it's going to be great until you confirm it. Why can't I be it. enthusiastic about it? Yeah, something in your psyche me, is off. To me, it's like, so disingenuous. Wait, wait okay. Do you but see based people on in that, real life wait, do wait, this? Wait, no, wait, 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 I only see wait, people on I have Twitter do this. Based on that, we literally need to scrap our entire final segment because it's all about getting excited about something. Yeah, but we're not like, <laughs> whoa, I can't wait for Last of Us 2. It almost got fake confirmed. They that's said what it in you a did video. For one, that's what you do for games that you're excited that, for. And, and another point. Now I have a point. Right, you're saying, oh, it could be, it could be dog poop. You never, you haven't played it, dude. If they announce Evolve Two right now, you're gonna be because <laughs> I know Evolve Even, Two. I, okay, last what, two, you what, know what, what, two. What? What? You what do you know about Evolve Two? You shut your mouth, Zachary. <laughs> Listen, you shut your here's mouth. the other thing. It's not even that really. It's the issue of like, <laughs> like, like. Okay, play okay. a game and be like, this game is really good, but okay. don't do this like whole like. To me, it's like celebrity crushes. Like, don't freaking go out there on Twitter and be like, oh my god, Ariana Grande, like, I can't wait to be with her. Like, Fallout 4, I can't wait to sit down and play it. I'm going to play it all year. People are like, I'm glad that Persona 5 got delayed so I can have my Fallout this fall. Like, 
Shut your mouth, I, man. I don't see why you take issue it's, with people. It happiness. bugs the heck out of me. It just does. <laughs> it really does. It's like when people, you ever been with a person or like not been with like date them, but just even in the same existence as a person who like when they eat, they close their eyes and go like, mm, like, don't do that around me. Never. Don't, don't get Never. so into the food. Like it's some like, I don't know, stuff like that. Just there's I have some weird Brain but connection. if a vault two comes out, you're jumping out that fucking. Couch. No, I'm not. I will be. I will be like. I'll just feel vindicated. I'll be like, told you. But That's didn't you? Say. Didn't you feel like that when Splatoon was coming out? Yes, because I knew it was gonna be good, and I was proven right. Yeah, and these guys. Okay, thought that it was but, be good. but wouldn't that be the case of if like I say, okay, I think Uncharted Four is gonna be fantastic. It comes out and it's fantastic. Well, they released their first demo video, and it was boring as hell. To you. No, there's also a thing. Okay, here's I'm the other thing. I don't statement. think people like The Last of Us for the right reasons also. I think people like Last of Us for like, I don't think they comprehend it on the level I comprehend it. And so oh then, my God. <laughs> You're so pretentious right now. Move on to the emails, Mr. Pretentious douche. No one, <laughs> no one likes the shooting and the gunplay, which is some of the best part. People oh like, the story is so All good. Right. I, had, I had a discussion with Louis Caliber at Microsoft about how the, the gameplay was so boring, but the story was so good. And I was like, no, it's not right. We got a lot of emails about, I think my opinion is fact. And it's not that I think my opinion is fact. I just get closer to the fact than most people. I don't think my opinion is fact. Zachary. (laughs) I just can dig deeper. Do you know what the definition of fact is? The right opinion. Oh, okay. No, of course. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, All right, guys. A fact hey, is Zach, an opinion. Zach, Stop. Okay. B- Zach, you're a sociopath. Before, before Transcending Polygons writes us the next, you know, <laughs> Magnus Opus or whatever, Magnum Opus. Yeah, the car. The car Odyssey, Mad Max, whatever. Okay. I don't know. Let me just say that I do like to inject a little bit of, like, a little bit of funfetti into my arguments. So I'm not entirely serious. If you met me in person as Gabe and Max have, you know I, I'm the sweetest boy in all of, all of this continent. Yeah. Okay. David writes in. <clears throat> Gosh, my, my Very voice. humble, too. Yes, I am very humble. <laughs> I'm charming. I have a charm about me. It's I, I pull people towards me. Like, there's yeah, an irresistible He literally quality. carries bags of lucky charms. Yeah, I'm just like, take these in your mouth and spit them out. They're not good for you. Take these in your mouth and don't swallow. Take <laughs> what these- are you doing? <laughs> Zach, what are you doing? Do you hear what you're saying? All right. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> What, the hell? <laughs> what is happening? I just you guys activated. You're talking about Fallout Last of Us and people getting excited about stupid stuff. You love The Last of I Us. I do, so but... why would you not be excited for The Last of Us 2? I don't know. I'm just beyond that stage in my life, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's only no. in the stage where I you also get excited issue... by 2K games. <laughs> <laughs> I also have an issue where you can tell people are doing it for the wrong reason. Oh, okay. Like, the people who... There's How like could vloggers. you identify that? I'm wondering. Because there, there's like vloggers Especially who post stuff. Especially when it's via like a tweet. <laughs> because there's vloggers and, and like personalities who post stuff intentionally to get attention. And then I know that gamers do it as well in their own way. Oh, All right. Okay. And I have a question, right? Let's say I'm a billionaire, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I donate $100 million to this to this charity just right. as a tax write-off. Right. It's a good thing. Is it for the wrong reason? Could be. Maybe. But does it matter? Because you already did the good thing. Right? Well, I don't know does that getting all, all overhyped about it. Last of Us when it comes out probably in like six years is that great. We'll get the Last of Us two before six years. All right. I'm sorry. Forgive me for my rant. David. Hey, guys. Thanks for responding to my email a while back. I have another question. Money burns a hole in my pocket, but I want to save up. Give me some ways to save my money. There's a, there's a part two of the email, but we have to answer this part first. Okay. Okay. Put it in a sock. I don't know, dude. Just don't waste it. It's, it's self control. Like it's not that difficult. I can't to, not spend it. It's yeah, not like, that difficult. Narrow to down your um, hobbies to like the things that you absolutely <laughs> no, like. Well, he sa- he sounds like he he doesn't have a problem with not having money. Like he has money. I his think you should give that, it to someone else to hold. Yeah, his issue is just that whenever he has money, he just oh, wants to spend uh, put it. a saving uh, put it in a locked savings account. Yeah. Um. Then this next point is to Max. Max, have you ever heard of Larry's Pizza? Larry's Pizza? What it's is a pizza, that? It's a pizza buffet where they have any pizza that you can think of, even dessert pizza. But unfortunately, it's only mm. in the southeast of the U.S. Uh, would you go that? In Canada. Would you go that far for Pizza Paradise? Uh, I may, because I love pizza that much. So I might. If I'm ever in the south, I would go out and you, try to find you, it. You say that you love pizza, but at Pax, you're on this like, oh, I'm only eating. What do you mean? I... I Okay, but because at that point I stopped. Well, plus pizza is not like I don't put meat on it or anything. I typically just eat like cheese pizza. 
Mm. I just love Chicago. pizza, dude. I really like if you if you say, "Hey, here's pizza. Would you have it?" Absolutely. Okay. When I was in Chicago for a Mortal Kombat event, we went to this. Oh uh, my god, these pictures look amazing. We went this to, pizza. Sorry. We went to this gluten free make your own pizza place, and it was so nice. Got some arugula on there. Uh, at E3, me and your brother, Jacosaurus Rex, yeah, we went to this gluten free pizza place um, that, that was down the street mm, from our hotel. This looks good. Was we it? didn't end up getting any, but it looked good. Okay. Ryan writes in, <laughs> called it's called Gabe's Driving. What an anticlimactic story. <laughs> Super anti We went there, but we didn't get anything. It looked good. Oh, I got to <laughs> say that emails is one of my favorite moments in life because it's like some of the most laughs I have. Okay. Okay. Right. G- good way to pause that. It's the Gabe most Schreiber. laughs I have. What are oh, you? Are you like drug. Seinfeld? What's up with Ken? <laughs> I'm telling you, in a couple of years when I start my comedy tour, like we're going to look back at this and this will be like the beginning of the formation of the character. Oh, okay. Uh, Ryan right. writes in, hello, guys. My name is Ryan from BC. Canada? From BC. B- BC, not from before Christ. No, even though that British would be Columbia. way more interesting. Like I'm, British I've got Columbia. so much sand in my turban, I can't even move. Um, anyways, <laughs> God. Uh, while listening to your show, I found that everyone hates on Gabe a heck of a lot, and I was like, you know what? If everyone's doing it, I should too. Like jumping <laughs> off a bridge when your friends do it. So Gabe. You, my good sir, have said that your lack of Batmobile driving ability was an exception, that normally you are good at driving in games. So when I was watching your Mad Max gameplay, I set out on a personal mission to see if you would be good at the driving there. I'm so, I was I'm so, I'm so sorry, but Gabe, you can't drive in games. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gabe. Rest in peace, Gabe's ability to drive in games. You will be missed. All right. First of all, I challenge you to Rocket League. Second of all, I was streaming. I'm on, I'm on two monitors, right? I'm playing over here, reading chat over here, monitoring the stream over here, making sure that the frames aren't dropping and all this. Yeah. Get out of here. That's not a representation of my driving. I take, I, I take exception <laughs> to that. I'm reading chat the whole time. Leave me alone, man. All right. Next email comes in from R. Claim your, uh, I challenge you. He did say, Gabe, you're his favorite, though. No, oh, yeah, there thank you, go. you. I appreciate it. R writes in. This is the phonetic R, A-R. Uh... What's a podcast like about relationships? Okay. Like the gun? <laughs> School, sorry. <laughs> School hey, started a few it. weeks ago, and in my history class, I sit next to a girl named Hannah. Don't okay. take that the wrong way. Mm-hmm. She's don't a wonderful... Wrong way. <laughs> I don't know how you could take a name the wrong way, but okay. I, I did it. I took it, and I went the wrong way with She's it. She's a wonderful girl, and I genuinely like her. We've been to a Reds game together, and we kissed last night. Question? Ill, it was a question Ill mark. Baseball. Wait, there's Ill a question baseball. mark? He wasn't sure if it happened? <laughs> We've been to a Reds game guys. together and we kissed last night. Everyone in school thinks we're perfect together, and I'm going to ask her to an upcoming dance. The question is not awesome. what I have to do to woo her. That's been done already. Nice. Ooh, I like him. I would like your opinion, Zach. though. Is, is this all is too? This is this all too fast? Is, is this Zach? <laughs> oh. Oh. No, nah, no, nah, man, you're good. There's no such thing as too fast, honestly. As long as, like, I, I've said this before, right? As long as you're safe. Right, and as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Listen to the uh, the classic uh, B major song where he says, "Take it slow." Yeah. Uh, or do the that's our thug moment of the week. No, like you sit next to her, you know her in class, you went to a Reds game together, you kissed, you're gonna ask her to dance. Like I don't know what you're, unless you're like planning on proposing next week. Like I think you're going just about the right pace. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pastor Chris online writes in. <laughs> I don't know how we got on this email list. September is the month of glorious fortunes and increase. Watch now. Get updates on trev- trending activities to Pastor Chris. <laughs> okay. <All right>. Uh, <laughs> the next one, is from, next one is from um, Moise, if you remember him last week or a couple weeks ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he, he like, was trying to, like, remember, I think he's the guy, I believe he's the guy who, like, was like, which girl should he ask out or whatever. I think that's this guy. No, that was... That's it. I said ask them both out. Is that him? Now I have to look up who this guy is. Da, I mean, when you, da, when you, da, da, when you da, say that you wrote da, in before, da. you got to tell us, like, what it was about, bro. Yeah, you got to you gotta type in the email again. What was the previous email? <laughs> or, you, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh, no, this was a guy who is uh, – he just moved um, – to Dubai from Pakistan. He's oh, in the 11th grade. Okay. And his school was gender segregated, so he didn't have a lot of opportunity to talk to girls, and so he wanted to know how to ask a girl out. Okay. I don't remember if we out. read this on the podcast we, or not. We did. Yeah, I don't remember I reading think, this on the podcast. I, I don't think we, we read it on the podcast. It might have been, like, one that you read off. Oh, uh, anyways, he said, uh, 
Um, hey guys, it's Moise again. A girl asked me out this time and I didn't say no because I don't like hurting people. Instead, I said, I'll message you on Facebook. We talked on Facebook for a while and I realized we have nothing in common. I wasn't interested in going out with her before and now even less. I feel sick when I mean to someone or hurt someone. So what do I do? Do I try and delay it or just say it right now up front? Dude, you're meaner. You're meaner if you delay it. Honestly, just be straight up. Like if you have zero interest in this person, like it's, it's way meaner to string it along. So just say like, I'm sorry, like... I'm not interested in that way. We can be friends, like, or whatever, but no, dude. Like, don't string anyone along. No one wants to be strung along. Unless you're a, 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 a puppet, then strings are important. Yeah. Or, or if you're a silkworm. If, if you're Ultron, you don't like strings either. Yeah. Next email comes in from Scott with an actual gaming question. Oh, um, Scott. What's up, Scotty? <laughs> uh, I, here, I know what this email is. Zach, why don't you like Uncharted? Okay. Uh, so... November, well, first of all, he has a little kind word for all of us. First, Ghost, great job with the new channel, Ghost Robo. Thank you. Gabe, oh, awesome job with Metal Gear. <laughs> you are rocking. Max, thank you for all your Disney Infinity videos. You are the main. I didn't, I, I didn't get to hear mine. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Gabe, you're awesome with the Metal Gear videos. You're rocking. Oh, thank you. Now his question. November this year is going to be a crazy month with some awesome game titles dropping. We need some help. First is Call of Duty Black Ops 3, then Fallout 4, also Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then Star Wars Battlefront. Can you Can't Stop Gamers please rank these for us? We need your help, and for some like myself can only afford maybe two out of these top four. While we are attempting, I like how he speaks for everyone. While we are attempting to save up to get some of these awesome titles, please, with one being the best and four being the worst, what is your order for these titles? Okay. Okay, so so who wants to go first? I can go first if you guys you want. You go first. I think I, all right, so Fallout 1, uh... Call of Duty 2. Should, should this is for you Wait, personally. he should buy the anthology again? Fallout 1? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Gabe's personal thing. This isn't what Gabe thinks you should do, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, There's a difference. Is, sure, which one do you want me to do? Do your personal. What? Well, how would there be a difference? Because, like, honestly, I would say I think all of us would be, have a different opinion if it was, like, what do we think the average person would like most versus our personal. But let's do our oh, personal because okay, what's okay. the point of us existing if we don't have opinions? Okay. All right. See, so, so my personal ones, then, then, yeah. It, it, all right. So it, it changes them because I I was going with the other way. So it's still Fallout, then Battlefront. Okay. Then Tomb Raider. Then Call of Duty what was the other one. Star That's Wars. It. That's it. Four. Our, There's yeah, four. Yeah, so, so there. There's my order. Okay. Go ahead, Zach. Oh, this is a real tough one because you got some games that I'm really, really excited. I can for. I can do Zach's. Okay. Do Tomb mine. Raider. Okay. Number one. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty number two, okay. Star Wars Battlefront number three, and Fallout four number four. Uh, you're almost right. I'm gonna go Rise of the Tomb Raider, Call of Duty Black Ops three, Fallout four, Star Wars Battlefront. They're all very Ooh. much up there for me, but I was pretty close. I see myself having the least longevity with Battlefront, honestly. Okay, for me, right. it would probably be playing with me, whatever it could be. Mm. Don't you want to see uh, Tomb Raider number four? Let's play Wii. Call of Duty number three, Star Wars Battlefront number two, wow. and then Fallout. Yeah, the radioactive yeah. wasteland has captured your soul over your beloved. Yeah, Lucas. I've, just, and I've just honestly like I'm genuinely excited to see the game because like I want to love it, and I hope that that's what happens. So that's why I'm, like, so hopeful for it. It's like, okay. look, I'm not going to go into, like, jaded or anything like that because, to be fair, I, again, I, I can acknowledge that Fallout 3 is, like, a game that a lot of people like and everything, and I can agree with it. But for me, I didn't enjoy that game. Right. I'm hoping that Fallout 4 did enough things differently. Like, this week there was an article that came out that uh, said that um, uh, Bethesda, they had the guys that did the... Um, Doom, I think, was it? Uh, they had them um, helping to work on the shooting mechanics and stuff to make it a better first-person shooter. So I'm hoping that there's enough improvements there that it grabs me and I want to play it. So mm-hmm. Plus, it really feels like one of those games that's like an event, you know? And I, I just, I'm excited to be a part of it for that reason. Absolutely. So, yeah. We'll see. So I hope that helps you out, Scott, and all of the people you speak for. Next email comes in from um, John Kunda. Okay. Hello, Mysterious Max, Cowboy Gave, and Zach the Adventurer. My name is DJ. I have this question about a girl. I had a dream about her the other day, and I never even saw her before. Except today, I saw her, and she starts talking to me like I know her. What do I do? That sounds creepy. <laughs> you dreamt about this person that you've never seen in your life? 
<laughs> like this made up person like in your mind and then she just appears mm-hmm. you might have a gift brother <laughs> see a doctor about that no um, oh, no no you don't nah. don't i'm sorry that t- rewind that advice i don't know i don't know if you're joking but if you're serious that maybe it's cool maybe it's like a sign don't give aliens water they hate sure it. Just, just like uh, Gremlins, or no, uh, Signs the movie. Oh, okay. The, the, al- the okay. aliens were like weak against water. Okay, I've never seen uh, that. One. This yeah, guy that flew over y'all's head. This guy writes in, "Don't use my name." So okay, okay. dear crew, I had a th- Voldemort. I had a thing with this girl a few years back, but we never ended up dating. I had classes with her last year, but I didn't feel anything for her, and she didn't for me. I assume okay. this year I have a class there, and I realize I like her a lot again. I think she might be slightly out of my league. Any advice? talk to her are you talking to her? <laughs> i think like, the thing he's talking about is like the out of his league thing um which like i just want to say that like look, let's be straight up honest okay. here all right mm. why 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 you got to give me that max nothing keep going just be straight up honest. i'm gonna Come be on. straight up honest with you and say like there's most people in the world are kind of jerks so out of your league in terms of looks i assume that's what you're talking about you know as long as you reach like the status quo i think you're you're golden because if you can overcome maybe that like lack of like instant swoon beauty with like uh personality kindness generosity that's going to go a long ways because there is less really heartfelt nice people than there are beautiful people so you're a rarer find you're you're a better gem the seven dwarves are digging through the mine and they will be more excited to see you than they would to see like some beautiful man so don't let that get in your way um and yeah. emphasize your confidence and strengths because yeah, a lot of times confidence key. is, is a much more attractive quality than a pretty well, Smart. plus a lot of times, at least in my experience, like a lot of times, a lot of girls that are like, you know, a lot of people consider them to be out of their league. Right. So few guys are actually have like the guts to walk up to them and talk to them right. that you're already in a special group if you just have the confidence to do that. Yeah. So that's that's another thing. Like you got to remember confidence is key in those scenarios. Father Gabe. Yeah, I, I, pull their the hair, whole, everybody. Pull their hair, push her out of a canoe, whatever. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, the whole out of the, the league thing. I, I never got it. Like, it, I don't understand it. Like, I've seen. Dude, I'm in Texas, right? So what we get over here is just really big cowboys uh, with dude. There's some beautiful women in Texas, right? And you see the guy that they're with, and you're like, how did that happen? It, it happened. Like these things always happen. This guy had something cool to say. She interested her, and I, I, I never put any belief into this whole league thing and i I will say my the only league he believes in is fantasy league that's right yes we will have our fantasy moment at the end of the episode but we're one and oh baby not not in this one i'm in one and oh in the one that matters so uh (laughs) i also want to say my my greatest girl advice that i have reiterated hear that what yeah Bane, why I don't know. Bane's crying over. Bane doesn't sound as like scary and strong as yeah, I expected. Yeah, he sounds him, like a little to be honest. Like Tom and Jerry dog. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, my, no, Bane's huge. My little brother's out there, probably just messing with him. Pulling his tail. Like, not, no, 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 no. That's um, no. So, uh, so like, to me, if someone does not take interest in you, want to be with you, think you're cool and special, then you don't need to be with them and just trust that you'll find someone that actually does. Because to me, you're, you're wasting so much time chasing after someone that really doesn't. So like, honestly, you, it's a win-win. Either you talk to her and she likes you and you like her and great, or you talk to her and she's not, and then you get to find someone who would be better suited and more enjoyable for you anyways. So Nice. Yeah. That is some high-level that- high knowledge right there. Glass half full is the way to go. Um, we actually were pretty short on emails this week. So people of, of Earth, um, you want to email us stuff. There's a lot of games coming out now. Um, and we did take a week off. Was that last week or the week before? The, the week before, but I think that's what slowed things down. A yeah, so bit. make sure to send your emails in. We'll put out another like back call on Twitter. Um, but can't stop asking at gmail.com uh, is where you want to be with that. And with that, we'll jump into Hype City. Hi- Hi- Hype City? Wait, where, where's the song? Oh, do the song. Wow. You, the song. you don't even have it lined up, dude. Yeah, yeah. What are you what kind doing? Of a host, are you, dude? Yeah, you, you take a week off. I have and been. You're I have been quite preoccupied this week. Oh, really? With yes, what? It... Secrets. Stuff. Oh, wow. Um, you got to sleep, though, man. Yeah, I've been going to bed real I, late. I, I tweeted. I tweeted at four a.m. and I saw that you favored a tweet at four thirty a.m. What are you doing awake? Go to sleep. I'm what mine. are you doing awake, Gabe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I function just fine. Who doesn't? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
that train gets me. <laughs> That's you, Max. It is? A podcast. This is that time. Hype City. That is the crime. No, it's not. It's really divine. We tell you our favorite games one at a time. Each of us at a time. Let's go. Hype City. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Hype City. <laughs> Zach. What up? Why don't, you, why don't you insert the actual audio into the podcast, though? <laughs> That would be too much work. <laughs> how, how would I ever get to bed on time if I did that? <laughs> um, so today we travel to Hype City uh, by Neon Future Train. This is one of those holographic Ooh, trains that nice. doesn't even look like it's real, but it is. Wow. We've graduated from steampunk, and we've graduated from monorail, and okay. now we're, in, we're on like Neon Future. Like Everyone wow. is Asian in this future. So they've taken over the world and they've built okay. crazy technology with holograms. Okay. So you're you're Asian, Gabe. I'm not Asian. You are now. Yep. If you want to come to Hype City, you, ha- you board this train. Got to be Asian. Can somebody else go first? So I can think. Max. Um, I will. Uh, I will probably say Lego Dimensions. That's what I'm okay. excited for because uh, okay. that's coming out on the 27th. I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird that literally the last three weeks it's going to be we got Disney Infinity. Then the right, weekend right. after that, we get Skylander Superchargers. And then the weekend after that, we get Lego Dimensions. They are like a lot back of to back to back. So, um, I, I need more shelves. It is kind of crazy that they are just like one after another. But I'm excited for it. Obviously, I love the Lego games. And um, this one has so many cool things. They just did like a trailer showing all the talent that is like on the voice cast for this thing. And it's insane. It's like practically anyone from that is famous as a voiceover person and then added to that is like Chris Pratt, Elizabeth Banks, um who else was uh, on there? Uh Christopher Lloyd, uh Michael J. Fox, like they have like everybody doing their own voices and it's kind of crazy to think of that. Like Gary Oldman is going to be the bad guy of Vortex, like it's going to be good. I'm excited for it. Okay. I got mine, Zach, if you want to think about yeah, it a little bit. Yeah, go more. for it. All right, so my name's going to be Soma, right? Uh, Frictional Games. Okay. Uh, they made uh, the Amnesia games. Oh, yeah. And this game sounds cool. Let me, let me read to you okay. um, what, what this is and tell me if this does not sound cool. So Soma is a science fiction survival horror game being developed by Frictional Games. It is expected to be released on the 22nd of September. That is confirmed. Uh, the game will take place on the Pathos 2, an underwater remote research facility with machinery that begins to take human characteristics. Does that not sound cool? Yes. That sounds very cool. So it's essentially like where a machine is going to start coming to life and like having a personality? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I've, I've, I've seen the trailer. So it's also. like a uh, system shock. Yeah. And like I said it earlier, so I have it. I'm going to start playing it tonight. There water is go. always scary as well. Is it PC yeah, only is or is it like consoles as well? Yes. P- okay. PC. Uh, as far as I know, it's PC only. Okay. For now, it might come. It's PS4. Later. Oh, yeah. PlayStation 4. But I don't know. Oh, it's a it, PlayStation I'll, 4 exclusive, Zach. No, it's not. Yeah. It's on PC. Oh, it's not. It, count. it, can't. it counts. Uh, speaking of PlayStation, the uh, did you see that Persona 5 got delayed and The yep. Witness got announced for next year? Uh, sure. Sony's yeah. trying to set a record of having back-to-back seasons with no exclusives. Um, why, wait, why? What do you mean? They had no exclusives last fall and they have none this fall. They, they were with Persona 5 and now they don't. And The Witness could have came out this holiday and now it won't. Wait. So, that, well, no. Well, we knew we knew that they had no games for this fall. Well, Persona yeah, Five was supposed is, to come out. Yeah, no, in it, Japan. No, in Japan, it, it was, worldwide 2015. Go read all the stuff. Okay, well, it's not. I, I never okay. thought it was. Yeah, I, I mean, I did. I thought that was gonna be their. I don't know. I thought. Grace. Uh, yeah, I thought it would come out in Japan tw- like this year, but not in America. Um, my hype city is for a drift, which is supposed to come out in September. Ooh. It's a first-person indie game where you're okay. in a space station, mm-hmm. and it, it, that's the. Um, the VR game. It's like Dead Space without the dead. It's just space. Okay. Yeah, and so it's like they gravity? Were it with, with the movie? Uh, yeah, like there's some there's some incident on the ship, and you have to piece together clues of the incident and repair okay. the escape vehicle to get out of there. But okay. it's gorgeous graphically, and it looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that'll be fun. That's one, and then I'm going to slice my pizza in half and give the other four slices to NBA 2K16, which is coming wow. out real quick. That's and I'm, surprising. Uh, Big basketball fan, and I'll, but those are some of the games I've put the most time into of any video nice. game. So. What about Minecraft Story Mode? Oh, that's out yeah, that's too. Early October, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty I think, cool too. I wonder if they'll have anything different, or if it's just going to be Telltale and their junky engine. I think it looks like Minecraft now, but yeah, it's Telltale. So it's going to like stutter, and they're going to be like, "Creep, creep, purr." I don't know. 
And with that positive note from Zachary, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. The, where where is Life is Strange episode five? The next. The, the, oh no, where, where is coming out October? Zach, well, I mean Gabe, we're not allowed to mention that at all because that's like it's it's wrong when Telltale does it, but when Life is Strange well, does it. Well, no, it's it would okay. be different if, if it would be different if Donut was like, hey guys. Uh, we've aligned with six new commercial brands that we're going to bring you a new Didn't series they just based on the Legend of Zelda. Something like that? What was it that they announced already that they're doing? It's just it's, it's their new game. Yeah, it's coming it, out in years. Game. Yeah, and it's not even a choose your own adventure type game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so where is episode five though? It's been a while. But there's I think it's going October. Scale size, but whatever. Okay. Cool. Good podcast. Very Good show. More games next week. We'll have stuff to talk about with Lego Dimensions, Skylander Superchargers. Um, Soma. No, Lego Soma. Dimensions. I think we won't be able to talk next week yet. A decent amount. I think the week after. No, you can talk about some stuff. I think. Yeah, some stuff. But some yeah, stuff. okay, whatever. We'll we'll double check. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, make sure to send your emails in. Send your lightning round things in. Um, before we get out of here, we are going to have a family, fantasy football moment. I also wanted to oh, show okay. this. Uh, on camera, just as confirmation. Um, okay. I got a message today from our contest winner. If you remember our review contest winner, um, Smash Brown. And I just want to show you that he uh, today sent me a picture of him with his brand new Mario Maker Wii U bundle. Awesome. Very excited and happy. Congratulations, so, my friend. That is cool. And that was delivered as promised. Um, if you guys want to leave before the football stuff gets going, thank you so much for watching. Fantastic week. We will see you next week. Thanks for being a fan of the podcast and supporting. Spread it around your friends if you're feeling extra jolly and want Santa Claus to really reward you this year. Bye now guys. then. All right, I'm Bye. leaving. <laughs> Bye. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about football, game. We have like five right. minutes to get in all the goods about the first week of the NFL season. Okay. All right, awesome. For me, I know you're not very happy. Well, I mean, right. your team barely lose? beat... Yes. Yes. In a horrible fashion. But your team barely beat one of the worst teams in the league, so I don't know how excited you can be about that. I think they're going to be fine. Yeah, I don't know how... I, how are they getting more Super Bowl predictions this year with their best receiver out than they did last year? Oh, because Devontae Adams is quite good, and James Jones is a touchdown vulture. That guy, he, he might not get as, as, as many passes thrown to him, but the ones that he does catch, he's making them count. Every pass that goes J, uh, JJ's way, it, it, it's big. It's so in, in one game? Or, yeah, in one game. That's all we have to go off of. I don't know. Well, people are predicting Super Bowl for them. I don't know. Because um, it's Aaron, man, Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league, and that's damn near undisputed. Ben damn Rothwell, near. or Rothwell, whatever his name is. He, Roethlisberger. He's the highest paid player in the NFL. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He made $48 million, something like that. He's the highest paid. Big Ben is not the highest okay. paid Okay, and there's no the way NFL. he could have made 48 Let me show you. Andrew Luck gets paid more than him. In the I meantime, I was very Rodgers sad was about my Lions' epic collapse. Amir Abdullah looks phenomenal, but the fact that they're up 21-3 and then get 30... Let's let's talk about that, Zachary. I, I, I wasn't talking about this in the text but you, right. you were very upset that day yeah. right? Amir looks fantastic phenomenal mm -hmm. right Stafford Golden Tate and Megatron don't look so hot yeah, I, right? and, and again this is one week and it means nothing one, one week does not make a season obviously but Me Megatron looks old Megatron <laughs> his, his name's Calvin Johnson oh he, his oh, he earned it sorry earnings not not uh, paid but earnings he has the highest sure um, I don't yeah, know. Megatron. What do you think he get like like brand deals and stuff? No, he, he signed like, some sort of like re-signing thing, and he got a bonus. That's oh, like, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, Golden Tate should have had a, a diving catch touchdown in the end zone, which would have been great. It got tipped out of his hands, so like I think he'll be fine. Staff. I mean, Johnson they just didn't throw him the ball enough. Stafford, his arm was numb on that interception. I think they'll be fine. They got some kinks to work out. I'd rather them have a collapse in week one and realize what they have to adjust than have it happen in like week fourteen or fifteen. I was disappointed, but they were. You know, they have the hardest four weeks, first four weeks of any team, and then it gets a lot easier from there progressively. Uh, Amir looks solid. He does. That he first run, solid. first handoff in the NFL, 24-yard, and he shook Eric Weddle so hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 100 plus kick of, return yards. He's made out of plastic or something. I don't know. And, like, like I, how can how can he do that and not hurt himself? I love like, to so see him drive into guys, too, lead with his shoulder. Like, he's, he's a small guy, but he's not afraid to, like, play big at all and, like, fight for an extra yard or two, so. Uh, and in defense of the Packers, right? Randall Cobb, he's hurt. He's playing, but but he, he's not all there, right? Their defense is um, just what worries me. Yeah, J James Jones, he just got signed off the street. He, he was over there hanging out, I don't know, babysitting his kids but or something. their defense giving up that many points of color. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not like it's unheard of for Cutler to, to score some touchdowns sometimes. He throws interception. Your your boy had an interception. So, 
I don't know, but overall, that fantasy league, man, you guys, <laughs> you guys tricked us, and I don't like it, and I don't want to address it. I don't want to address it what in happened? this way, but you guys, you guys suck. You guys really game. Suck. What happened? Address it. Address it live. <laughs> Gabe, what's wrong? Uh, what's wrong with you, man? You fooled us. You got us good. Gabe, we'll what are you that. saying? <sighs> Gabe, it's not what I expected. Gabe's salty because he thinks that people aren't like as like good at it as, as he was hoping. Yeah, so it so now it motivates me to just not care. I have four other leagues to well, worry about care. that I, that there's actual money in. So is it because I'm, you're not what, winning in that one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't win because oh. I didn't care to win. No, oh, I did not win. I did not win. I did not win. Mm-hmm. But because I didn't care to win. Every other league I was in, I won this mm-hmm. week. So, I, I, you guys fool. So it is I'll weird that. that this is the one that you're salty about. <laughs> Well, there's nothing at stake. I don't care. Okay. But um, nonetheless, um, I look forward to this week's matchup. I don't know who I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> the, the I, I won a, by I won big in my money league, which I was super excited about. I'm expected to win pretty darn big in my this week. Um, in, in our fantasy podcast league, which I don't have a horrible like disgust for. Uh, I don't. I'm not disgusted by it. I'm just. I'm ex- I'm, I'm playing it. Odin's beard this week. He beat me last week. Well, I will beat him for you this week. Thank you. I appreciate it. You do also that. to also to be fair. Let, let me tell you the reason he won, wh- which I also thought was a little iffy. Okay, like, I, I think I think what was he the one? Did he have Carlos Hyde? Because Carlos Hyde popped off. He did who was it? No, he had Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory had a twenty-two point game. Um, Safari Jenkins came out of nowhere and had a twenty-three point game. Like he wait, his name is won. Safari Jenkins. Safari on Jenkins is his last name. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was his name that is been his name is Austin Safari and Jenkins. So we're gonna add a, a new thing to the end of this before we wrap up, which I'm borrowing from Weekend Confirm, where we pick three games and we all pick the winners, and then we're gonna keep tally and see who's the smartest football genius. Mm-hmm. All right, okay, pick them, pick them. So our three games are our first game is the Thursday night game, which is the Broncos, Denver Broncos versus Kansas City Chiefs. That's an easy one, but I have a question: How are you picking these three games? Just out of nowhere, I'm Broncos just selecting win. them. So you just pick. Just, I'm selecting three interesting games. Okay, Broncos okay, win. Right. No, Broncos lose. Okay, I'm picking Broncos win. Okay, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna pick I, the Chiefs. Peyton looked so bad last week. I'm worried terrible. about him. C.J. Anderson did not look that hot either. Um, He's hurt. There's an article on ESPN about is Demarius Thomas out of Peyton Manning's range, which I think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> he might be. If, he, if he's 10 feet in front of him, he's out of his range. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Kansas City and Andy Reid. So okay. am I. Let's see what so, happens. So am I. All right, game number two. Um, we're just jumping all around. Um, so that's the Thursday night game. Uh, game number two is a rematch of, I guess, former teams. Uh, Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday afternoon in Philadelphia. Eagles take, it. Eagles take it. Sam Bradford, right, he took a little while to, to get into the swing of things, but in the second half he was, he was doing very, very well. Uh, that that Jordan Matthews touchdown that should have been a you touchdown. Should, you should what, pick next, Zach. Who do you pick? Okay. Uh, Chip Kelly didn't challenge it. They won. They won the game. Did, he just chose not to challenge it. Did you see that? No. Are you picking okay, the Eagles so as well? They, they scored yes. a touchdown. Wait, let me tell them. They scored a touchdown, right? It was fully a touchdown. He crossed the pylon. Right. And they didn't review it because it wasn't under two minutes. And Chip Kelly didn't throw the flag. If he were to thrown the flag, it would have fully been a touchdown. Goofy guy. But, yeah, I think Cowboys does out four to six weeks and – yeah, I'm I don't, have to I don't agree like with Roman. you guys as much as I don't like it. Eagles. Okay, good. So we're a sweep across the board there. And then the Monday night or the Sunday night game, sorry, is this the, is the uh, big one. Seattle Seahawks visiting the Green Bay Packers. Oh, the Seahawks. <laughs> and the Seahawks lost their first game in overtime. That's okay. Seahawks so they are, are winning. Against the Rams. Hungry uh, for a victory. A Trey Mason less Rams. A, a Todd Gurley less Rams. But the, the Rams defense they, they, they did their thing. The, the Seahawks will be winning. No. Packers. Okay. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. I, I mean, if they – Matt Forte ate them alive for 155 rushing yards. So, I think Marshawn is going to go big. They want to win. I don't know who's going to match up against Jimmy Graham. And I think the Seahawks yeah, on defense – Yeah, because he was great this week, right? On defense, I think the Seahawks are I, – I don't think James Jones is going to continue that. I think he'll be figured out very fast. Yeah, but no, but then you still have Devontae. Yeah, I don't, think, he, I don't think he's that great. He's, he is great. You think he's great, uh, also, but I don't think he's that great. What did he do week one? Well, nothing, because James Jones did everything. Okay, so he's why is he great? Because I've have you seen him play? He's not great though. Like you're All acting right. like he's like T. Y. Hilton or something. T. Y. Hilton. All right, we're locking in. We're locking in our bets. Yes, <laughs> he Let's was four for happens. eight. 
But anyways, all right, so those are our bets. That's our fantasy football moment. We'll be back later this week uh, with an Until Dawn bonus segment. Until next time, guys and girls, enjoy your football, enjoy your games, enjoy yourself, and we will see you all later. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye-bye.